Okay, guys, those are all uh, red mirror glass shards I ordered from uh, China on eBay for the Grim Reaper. I wasn't going to film this, but uh, <clears throat> I decided I was going to film, so I didn't really film too much. But this is a quick time lapse of me. I glued the wing first with Gorilla Glue, and then I place each piece in one by one. It took me about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes each wing. So it's not perfect, but good enough for me. Anyways, so there's time lapse. Cookie, anyone? Okay, guys, so this is uh, Jordy back here at Carving Fusion. I'm going to be taking a little while off uh, wood carving because uh, just my sinus thing's not going away, and I think maybe I'm breathing too much sawdust. So, long story short, I built this, I carved this, uh, wood carved this um, Grim Reaper about two months ago, and I didn't know what to do for the wings, okay? But I knew I needed to order this red mirror glass shattered rear shattered shattered red mirror glass from uh ebay and it came from china so i got that all here i did uh this yesterday i, I glued it in with this um clear gorilla glue uh, my buddy pete told me about this stuff a while back i glued them all piece by piece i think i did a time lapse video of it yesterday if i did i'll put it up right after this part so you can see it's all in here now. And like guys, it looks way more metallic than it does on um, camera. Okay? So that's that. That's in. So I've been talking to my buddy Larry. He's in the, he's a huge uh, acting member in Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. Um, and he has been using some special epoxy stuff. Not the normal stuff that I use, that 5 minute stuff. He's been using this stuff. There, where's the box? Um, where's the freaking box? Anyways, this stuff is uh, P PC7. It's a two-part epoxy. So I already had, I just had that box in my hand. That's freaking driving me nuts. Oh, well. So I already had this piece of metal bent. For his, I can never remember that sheath. Sickle. Or it's a hay cutting thing. I already had this bent out of metal. You can see that's metal there, right? Because this is going to go, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's going to go like this. Like this right here. Okay. So you can see it's kind of like a windy day and it's just cloth blowing off his um, stuff. So I use this with that too with this uh, PC7 epoxy. I just draped it over. I made a huge mess. Got it all. I basically used this whole tube, and I just kind of clamped it and I hung it, so the things look like they're hanging there, right? So when it's sideways, it looks like the wind's blowing it. They're still a little bit soft, but that's good because they won't snap. You know, I think I should have done this after I got the blade put on. Okay. So, but this will sit like this. And also. So I got that done. Now what I need to do is make a blade for this part, okay? For the top part. You can see here, I see that line. If it stays freaking zoomed in, see I got that line cut out with a little Dremel cutter. Like this. So I can, I got a piece of uh, rubber made here. Okay, and you can see that. I'm gonna cut that out with scissors or whatever. I might use that Dremel cutter thing. Okay, that's going to be the blade, and it's going to fit inside this slot. See it right there? And then from Larry gave me the advice, and uh, Mark D. Maker, I believe he uses this stuff too. This is called epoxy sculpt. It's um, two part epoxy. This is black because I'm going to I'm going to put the epoxy sculpt on the on over top of this plastic. I'll sand it down. Once I cut it, I'll sand the thing so it's got like rough edges, like little hooks on it, so the epoxy will stick better to it, okay? So first of all, what I'm going to do in steps here. Guys, I'm a wood carver, I don't know. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to sand it, okay? Then I'm going to glue it here onto, this, onto the thing, onto the handle, okay? And then, once, the epo once I epoxy, I'm going to epoxy it into the handle here, okay? Once the epoxy is cured, 
then I'll start going on the outside of, of the blade with this stuff. And also, guys, I want to have like a, this stuff's the black. You can get gray or white or any color you want, I think. I got this on uh, Amazon. But I'm going to shape like a skull in his face here, just like a ghost skull, okay? So just, uh, yeah, okay, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay, guys, so I don't even know if I should be filming doing something like this because I don't even know what I'm doing. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing when I'm wood carving too, so I guess it makes sense. So I like these old scissors better, right? The, the new scissors are just junk. These suckers are... Okay, so I'll just cut this, break it, big cut right off here. I was going to film this, but I talked to Larry. His name's Larry Dibbs. He's on Vancouver Island. Him and his brother. He, Larry's a wood carver. He, he has a great style. He's a he's a naturally born artist. Well, a wicked artist too, but he has his own style for uh, wood carving, and it's really great. And his brother does uh, copper work. So they call it Two Brothers, One Vision, which is pretty neat. Okay, so we kind of got this cut out here. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to meet Larry pretty soon next time I go over to uh, Vancouver Island. I got some things I got to give him for his dust collector. And uh, okay, so, you know, I probably could use something harder. Like I thought about if I had sheet metal or something to uh, use, but I don't have any sheet metal here. <laughs> okay, so let's find that slot. and see if it fits in there so yeah i might have to uh cut that out a bit more actually it does it fits in there it fits in there just nicely oh look at that da 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 da, da. okay so i'm going to epoxy this in here and uh, i got to be careful not to break these things off too right i'll be back Okay guys, so this is just uh, the dollar store uh, two-part epoxy. I'm just going to pour it out, mix up a little bit. Like get it to pour evenly. Like one side's gushing out. There we go. Okay, now I need a paint mixer. Uh, okay, let's use this extra piece of steel here to mix the... Mix the epoxy up. You guys mix this stuff really good because if you don't, it will never cure properly. And well, you'll just have a sticky, gooey piece of crap. Okay, so you can see that. So now that's how I'll put the, the blade onto the handle part. The worst part about epoxy things in sometimes you have to just sit and hold it so I got to sit here for 10 minutes and hold this thing and I don't know sing to myself or something I guess Davey, Davey. okay guys so this is dry now I kind of got my lighter and bent it just a bit to give it a little, little bit more character okay so I've never used this stuff before okay epoxy sculpt <clears throat> So why I put this, for some of you that won't understand it, why I put this on first, it will give me a base, a solder piece, right? So when I put this stuff on, it just won't sag, right? So this will be, I'm hoping that this is strong enough to keep the shape, right? Because, I, like, yeah, okay, repeat. I know I repeat myself so much, guys, I'm sorry. So this is two-part. So Larry said I, I want to dip, dip separate things in there okay so let's do this here you go Larry here's me di dipping separate things in here okay so here's one finger for, that's quite a bit I don't think I need that there's one bit and then let's use the next finger for the next bit I don't know which one's the hardener and I got to try and make sure they're both equal right because it's that's two parts so it looks like there could be a little bit taken off this bit here So I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is just put this, put the lids back on first. You know, it's, um, I'm surprised I'm even filming. Get on there, you Jesus, stupid lid. 
So which one's the hardener? I don't know what it, doesn't, it says, but I'm missing it. One of these is the hardener, one's the, just the stuff, okay? So let's group all this stuff together. Okay, so I'll get this done. I'm going to do this for a good two minutes to, to blend it all together, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I think it's, uh, I've, what is it called, mended it to get together for like a good two minutes. My fingers. Okay, so let's just, um, hmm, let's see here. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I think I'm going to go get some of that uh, silver wax paste that I have. I have the gold stuff, but then I'll do that after. Um, paint it silver. Yeah, so this stuff is just like uh, sticking to all my fingers and I can't, you know, guys, like for this kind of stuff, it's your, your spit has oil in it, right? So it helps to lick your fingers. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, I'm past that point. I'm not licking these fingers. Okay, so I just want to kind of blend in all the... Um, I gotta lick my finger. I licked the finger that wasn't dirty, guys. Cause I gotta blend all the um, seams together. So yeah, I don't know, whatever. Take some of that off. There you go, that looks a bit better. Yeah, it's just sticking to my fingers big time. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to finish this video today, but I'm gonna do this all in one video. So because I wanna let this cure properly. So it's like walk away, Jordy. Walk away, let it cure properly. I lick my finger anyways. I just want to make it smooth for painting, right? So I'm going to put this down because I believe it's good enough to where I want it. Okay, you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, I better put it down now. Walk away, Jordy. Walk away. Let's try and get some around the back here. Sorry guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a freaking Grim Reaper. You don't want it to look perfect. Okay, so put it down, Jordy. Now I'm gonna let this thing cure. Oh man. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, so you can see there I got that curing. It's gonna sit like that overnight, right? I could have just used sheet metal and just left it done and, and, and uh, like polish it up, but 
whatever challenge yourself so now what I was sorry now I want to do is use the same stuff to uh, make a skull like a ghost skull face in here nothing too crazy just so it kind of looks like a skull a little bit um, yeah so we'll have to see what's gonna go on okay guys so you'll see the skull head back here the head there's a hole in the back so I just got this yellow tape I'm gonna put this on the back so when I put epoxy in there it doesn't drain through that hole right now you don't see a hole now you do now you don't now you do now you don't okay so um, I'm gonna mix some more of this stuff up okay and uh, see what kind of mess we can get into now making the skull face yep <laughs> Okay, now you put the two-part epoxy in the hole just like this. Yep, that's what you do. And you get it in there so it's nice and smooth and transparent. So it looks like it's naturally in there. Okay. So we're getting the two-part epoxy into position. You just need to fill that little hole down there. Perfect. Okay. And also what you want to do, you want to look at look at it from all sides of the light to make sure that you have all cut all the corners covered properly. Okay, so now we're going to have to figure out how we're going to put a skull face on this piece here. Yes, we are. So, Jordy, how are you going to put a skull face on here? Just like the silhouette of a skull. Well, voice, inner voice, I just don't know. Get in there. I'm just going to have to think about it, I guess. So, Jordy, what do you have inside the green Tupperware bucket? Well, in her, in her voice, I got some uh, old uh, oh, clay shaping tools from when I was dibbling, dabbling in clay molding. That's what I got into her vo voice. So, maybe we'll try this. I also got some toothpicks. And I also got a paintbrush handle thing that's worth $50 billion when I'm done this project for anybody that wants to buy it. Oh yeah, I also got this rake back scratcher thing that I found in the box. I don't know what I was doing with clay with this, but uh, yeah, so anybody want to buy this back scratcher? I haven't used it. <laughs> okay, so this is what I think I'm going to have to pull up my good old Wish uh, magnifiers. Oh yes, look at these look at these goggles. Actually I remember they didn't work too well. I'll just pull up my uh, regular jeweler's uh, thing so I can really see what's going on inside there. Right guys, I'll have to dust it off and use this, this jeweler's mask. Okay, so let me uh, zoom in here and we'll start surgery. Reconstructive uh, carbon fusion surgery. So, hmm, it would probably help to have a picture of a skull around. But let's uh, put a center line in here. There you go. Let's give him some. Let's just use this paintbrush. Give him some skull eyes. Man, this thing's gonna look like freaking 
late when you're doing this stuff guys late lighting is very important this thing's gonna look like a ghost <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna turn out too well but just keep on trying Kinda gotta I see what's going on here. Make these eyes more square. Okay, um so let's uh This, this is a freak this is a freak joke this like this putty's not a joke I'm a joke so Jordy why are you telling us that you're a joke I'm telling you I'm a freaking joke because this is a freaking joke and I'm making a mess in her voice Like I said guys, I just want it to be like a silhouette of a skull. It doesn't have to be nothing friggin' like movie grade stuff. Should have started the face lower is what I should have done. I gotta stand this up so it's gonna be on the screen for a bit. Yeah, I gotta round these edges around here now. I think Larry said I got about an hour to uh, shape this stuff. Hey Larry, you're so lucky to live on Vancouver Island, but I'd love to live over there. I've been not feeling well with this virus, so, not virus, but this uh, sinus stuff that's going on, so I haven't come over there, right? I don't, I don't know if it's my friends can catch it or whatever, right? So. struggled with bottom jaws what's going on here yeah I don't know this thing it, it just kind of looks cheesy I'm not doing a skull face in there forget it it has to for me it has to look absolutely wicked like kind of evil looking or I'm not doing it at all I'd rather just kind of leave it like this Let's see, maybe we can just do some uh, demon dyes.
Where's that other quaddy stuff I had? Come on, George. Jeez. I shouldn't be in such a rush because, oh man. Okay, you know what, guys? I'll be back. How's that? Okay, guys. So it's now the next day. I walked away and let everything dry. So I put some uh, other epoxy on here to kind of make it look like that wind stuff too, right? So everything's good and dry. So now what I got, um, see this is more solid now. So it's perfect. So I went to uh, for a half an hour drive and picked up this stuff. This is a uh, premium wax metallic finish. I got, this is the silver color, okay? And it's made by Craftsmart. This stuff's really good. I got the gold stuff too. I've had it for a couple of years. So what I want to do is open up this package and then put some on the blade part here. Okay? So, um, yeah, let me get this package open up and we'll put that stuff on. Okay, so you can get this stuff in uh, gold color. Like I said, this is silver color. You can get bronze, you can get brass. So I got a pretty stiff uh, bristle brush here. It's a dollar store brush. Um, I like to use this stuff then put the lid on it back on it right away. So let's see if we can zoom in a bit here. There we go. I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want to get some silver color on there to kind of give it some highlights. Okay, so there's the silver on there. I see it. Looks like real silver. Well, pretty well anyways. So let's get some uh, over here. And we'll get some down here too a bit. I'm just putting the bulk on right now. And then I can uh, rub it on better. Like dry brush, dry stroke it, they call it, that painting. And we'll put it a little bit on the back here. Let's get the lid back on there. So yeah, this stuff, stuff dries really quick. And uh, I don't know, I, su I suggest if you're trying to go for a silver color, uh, you can use silver leaf too or gold leaf. But this stuff, just, I don't know, it's convenient. It's cheap. I think this was like 10 bucks. Okay. So there you can see it. Now I'm going to let this dry for a bit, okay? And uh, we got to figure out how to fasten it onto the piece itself. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm letting this set to dry. It's been two minutes, and I bet you it's already dry. But anyways, I'm going to let it sit here a little bit longer. Now i got to cut this bottom out. So I'm going to put some marks in here. And take it outside with my uh, cut it with the bandsaw. Okay, so I'm not going to film that. And then again, yep, I'll be back. Okay, so I finally got the bottom cut. Something like this, you should get done right at the beginning of the piece. Okay, so it's all done and sanded with my flaps on. Now I got this uh, poly shade here. I'm going to quickly poly shade it black, and then I'll sand it again, and then uh, I'll be back again for the millionth time. Okay, guys, so the bottom's all cleaned up. I got the wings, uh, all the glass mirror cleaned with um, uh, frick paint thinner. So now I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. Look how that silver sure acted on that uh, tips, guys. Just looks like a rusty old cranky, miserable Grim Reapers thing. Okay, so now I gotta. What I'm going to do to make this uh, stuff more shiny, I guess I'm going to uh, modge podge it. When you use the poly shades, guys, you're already putting a protector on it, right? Because it's poly. But uh, I guess I might as well just do this. Is stuff glossy or not glossy? Gloss. Yeah, because I want it to be a bit glossy to go along with the wings and stuff. 
So I'm going to put this on there and I'll probably be back in about 30 hours if I got enough in this tube. Okay, Mod Podge, gloss. Okay, guys, so I got the bottom done. I got it um, Mod Podged. See how it kind of gives it that shine? I like it. It kind of gives it like an older school kind of look, right? I don't know, this reminds me of something, um, that kind of shine glare that it gives. It's not too shiny, but it's shiny. So I think it's actually a pretty neat effect. Okay, so the last thing to do, well, second to last thing to do is uh, get this thing on here for a finished piece. Then we go, got to go hang it up on the wall downstairs. But yeah, so this stuff's pretty good. It's like rubber stuff. I'm sure over time it will get harder, but uh, I don't know. It's cool. The stuff anyways the epoxy okay so i'll get this on here and i'll be back i think i'm just gonna epoxy it on okay guys so it's pretty well done i love to read the comments and i do my best to reply to them um, two things I would have done different is I would have put this more up that way, like, so the thing's up here, but it's okay. I can always change that if I want. It's got some thin epoxy on here. Um, maybe in the future, I still got lots of room, lots of depth for that epoxy inside there. I can, uh place a face in there if I want um, but overall I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out that Mod Podge just gives it a cool uh, it just gives it a different depth I guess you could say so anyways I got a uh, cheap coat hanger uh, not coat hanger free coat hanger but cheap uh, picture hanger thing like this from the dollar store the other day and I got one of those things on the back there. And yeah, I'll uh, go hang it up downstairs. Oh, yeah, let's, let's get a look at it this way so you can see. You can see that Mod Pod shine, right? It's got a real uh, different kind of shine, right? I, I like it a lot for a piece like this. Yeah, and you don't really see the shine of the wings. Like they look a lot more metallic and dark red. Um, in real life than on this uh, video but yeah so one thing the most important thing well let's see here so I uh, ordered more of this stuff epoxy sculpt and um, I did start my other channel guys I got a name and I will be doing a video in the next couple days with the uh, epoxy sculpt on my other channel most important part guys I put my full full uh, signature on the piece my favorite pieces and let's just put a J down here sign your pieces people even if you think they look like donkey shit, sign them. Let people know it's your work, okay? So anyways, I'll go get this hung up downstairs, and uh, I'll be back.